Hey, 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 crafty friends. Happy Tuesday evening. Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. I am Robin, and behind the camera, behind the computer, is my husband, Bill. <coughs> Here I am. There he is. And we are so glad to have you tonight. I have a gorgeous spring slash Easter project to show you. And honestly, I came up with it in about... This was not the exact project I was going to do an hour ago, but then I changed my mind and I changed it up. So we're just going to go with it. So hop on and say hello when you do, if you're new or if you're old. We would love it if you would give our page a heart, if you would follow our page, if you would sprinkle out our video to your crafty friends. We would love that. We are thrilled to be um, hosting this segment of Craft Around the Clock. So welcome everyone from Craft Around the Clock and welcome from our regular followers. And we just hope you both become the same. Okay, let me get this started. And then we will get to getting. Okay, so here is that. Publish that. Let me get rid of this. How is everybody? Have you had a good week so far? Are you on spring break? Are you retired like us and you 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 have a, a year-round spring break? Hello, hello. Say hi. I got my cherry tree. Uh, planted you today. got your cherry tree planted. Bill bought some uh, bare root fruit trees. Some from Costco. From Costco, they're the fancy ones where there's the one stock, but then each branch is a different variety of cherries, and each stock is a different variety of apples. I have three different cherries, and I have four different apples on one stock. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. Hello, hello. Hey, Marianne. Welcome. You're still up in Maine. So it's evening for you. Well, it's evening for us too, but it's later evening for you. Hi, Sonia. Welcome. First time. Welcome, welcome from Austin, Texas. Glad to have you. Okay, we are going to do a project and let me show you what I what tools I have. Oh, before I get too far in, we are we love it when we have at least 25 viewers on at one time. So we like to reward our viewers if we get to that point. And if so, we say that if we get 25 viewers during our live, we will have a giveaway at the very end for some happy mail. And we are going to start taking uh, entries for that drawing, even though we're not at 25 yet. Um, in faith that we get there, we're going to, I have my little chicken timer. It's set for a, a random amount of minutes. And when that timer goes off, it's Bill's job to check and see the last comment that came up on his screen. And that person gets their name written down on a ticket, entered into the drawing for the end. So you want to hang around to the end and see if you won. Hello, Sheila from Daytona Beach. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We are glad you're here. Anyway, um, a lot of these supplies are uh, Dollar Tree. So I found these guys. They are metal, tin, whatever, metal little tulips. And I ended up with about three of them. And so we're going to use these. I've gone ahead and I have pre-base coated them in white for this project. We are also going to use, we're going to do some decoupage. So I've got some pretty napkins that we're going to use and they're very, they're very Eastery Wait, colors. Did I just hear the chicken? You just heard the chicken. That was Sonia. Sonia, Sonia like. Sonia and my pen does not want to work. Okay, I've got you entered. You're also retired. Good for you. We love being retired. Okay, 
So let me reset the timer and let's get to getting, I try, I hate when I, I hate when I get towards the end and I'm running out of time and I'm rushing, rushing, rushing. And anyway, um, so we're not going to do that. We're going to, we're going to try to get this all done. So I've got napkins that we're going to decoupage on. And then I picked up some of these from the Dollar Tree back in December. They're, they're press board. It's not real wood, but it's these silly gnomes. And I, I'm not the least bit interested in this. So what I did is I painted over it. Okay. If you look really, really close, you might be able to see underneath. But anyway, so we painted over it, and that's what we're going to use for our surface, one of our surfaces. Hi, Patty. Surfaces. Hey, Patty. Welcome. And hey, Elizabeth. So, yeah, so we have you listed into the drawing at the end. So when you comment, yes. I put you, your name in. You have not won yet. It's the drawing at the end. You have not won yet, but you are entered into that drawing at the end. Okay, let's get going here. So, what color paint did you use? I just used white chalk paint as a base, and I didn't do the backs because they're not going to be they're not going to be visible. I am going to keep this out though. Okay, so I am going to use the dry method of Mod Podge. I don't know if you've heard of that. So here's my napkin. I do not know where I got it. It's just two ply, so that makes me think I might have gotten it at Dollar Tree. Somebody might have given it to me. I might have stolen it from a, a potluck or something, because I, I do that with fancy napkins. Anyway, I, I really don't know where I got it, but I'm taking off everything except everything and leaving just the very top layer. And I have another one that I'm going to do that with. Sometimes they are... The more expensive ones are are usually more than more than two layers. Dollar Tree ones are usually just one layer. Okay, so the reason I painted these white, I am not paying attention to hey, Elizabeth. Yes, they're, they're I love tulips too. My daffodils just started blooming. I just have one so far, but a whole bunch of them are on their way. So. I painted this white because if I left it silver, you're going to, it's going to look gray behind there. But if I painted it white, it's going to make these colors stand out a lot more. So I just base coated it white. I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm just going to brush it on, making sure I get to the edges. This happens to be matte. Mod Podge, it doesn't matter. You can use matte, you can use satin, you can use gloss. Was that the chimkin That again? was the chimkin. All right, that was Elizabeth. Okay, hold on she to said, that name. She said, since watching crafting, when I go to family's houses, I take some yes, napkins. Yes, I, yeah. I do that too. I, I, just, I just take my normal napkin and I just don't use it. So that's, that's fair, right? That's not stealing. <laughs> okay uh let's see so i've got that one ready let me get this name down before i keep moving okay elizabeth c u n h a okay and mr bill i dropped my the rest of my tickets down below would you down you go Hey, so, Cheryl. Elizabeth, you're going to learn right now what, what uh, dry method okay, is. Okay, yes, that's what I'm going to show you. Somebody said they like. Sonia says it's the best method. It It's a good method. It's not the only way. I, I just don't like the wrinkles, and this kind of gets it wrinkle-free, in my Fran. opinion. Hi, Fran. Hey, Fran, welcome. My friend Fran has taken up pickleball. She is not my only friend that plays pickleball. And I'm wondering if that's something I'd be interested in. I don't know if we have pickleball yes, leagues around here, do we? Lewiston? Yeah, on, in uh, Lewiston. Okay, and I've got one more. So I'm putting a, a decent layer 
of Mod Podge on. Not super thick, but I'm making sure I get to the edges. <laughs> and then I'm going to dry it with my dryer. What is my dog doing down there? What are you doing, Duke? Poking around. Looking for Looking snacks. For Oh, speaking of, we Alana, had a... Alana says your, your peacock clock in, in the background yes, is I've, beautiful. I've, I've had it in the house, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to put it up down here so you guys can see it. This is that peacock clock I worked on. Did I work on it with the with Craft Around the Clock? I don't remember. Okay, they're all asking what pickleball is. To be honest, okay. you have to... You have to look at it on YouTube to have it explained, but it's it's a cross between, uh, oh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's well, a cross between badminton and tennis, and it's played on a smaller tennis court. Let's have Fran, if, tell us, Fran, tell how us, you explain it. Tell us in two sentences what pickleball is. Okay, so I'm going to take my dryer, because you have to have it dry to do the dry method. So I, I could just let it air dry, but I'm in a hurry. Hey Brenda, welcome. Platts, where are you from? Plattsburgh, New York. Welcome. <laughs> and Marianne lives in Lewiston, Maine. I think there's only two Lewistons that I've heard of in the country. We're we're near Lewiston, Idaho. We're about 15 miles out of Lewiston, Idaho. Sweet pickle or dill pickles? Well, I guess that depends on your personality. Okay, so let's see if Fran is going to give us a synopsis of what pickleball is. It's a sport, I'll tell you that much. Okay, there is the timer. Let me turn this off. Okay, whose name? Mr. Bill. Hey, I need to know a name. Oh, the last sorry. Name. I'm sorry, I was trying to look up. I know. Real quick. Um, last one up was, well, we already had Sonia, so it'd be Cheryl. Cheryl! Cheryl's gonna, Cheryl's gonna Google it. She's kind of our Google pro. If she doesn't know it, which is rare, she Googles it. I don't know if Fran is, I don't know if Fran is on it or not. Okay, so I'm making sure this is completely dry. through Wise Ghost, just telling you. I always go through, uh, um, <laughs> it's because you're searching on Wise Ghost. Okay, Fran says it is a game using tennis Badminton and ping pong skills use a paddle and a wiffle ball, wiffle ball on half of a tennis court. Okay, so I've reset my timer. I've got these pretty much dry. This one I think needs to dry just a tad longer. I'm going to have to Google it and watch it. I have a friend who I think is pretty good at it because she's always posting pictures of herself in the in the winner's circle. I was a I was a pretty mean badminton player in college. Because I'm not super sportsy and we had to take we had to take PE. And so I took I took uh, volleyball and badminton 
in college for like three years worth of anyway okay now I only have two of these napkins so this is the napkin I'm going to use for my other one and I am only going to use part of it because it's it's kind of funky I'm gonna do it sideways and so what I'm gonna do is I could cut out this part I don't want to cut it out I'm going to I kind of want it to, to be more blended in so I'm going to rip it but in order to help me rip it I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a q-tip in some water and I'm just going to go around the tissue and that will help me rip it because this will kind of weaken the tissue and make it easier to rip. Sonia says she'll have to watch too. Susan, watching from Wilder, Idaho. I think that's down around Nampa or Boise area. I think. Okay, so I've got, I just, I just went over it with water and that, like I said, that kind of weakens the fibers on the, on the napkin and I can tear it apart pretty easily with a little bit of control and it gives just that feathered edge it gives it a feathered edge so it will blend it will blend a lot better when I go to put it down and I'm also going to do that butterfly Doo -doo -doo. Sonia says she's never seen that technique. The Mod Podge it. technique or the ripping the paper? And that would be the last one. Let's see, Sonia, Sonia. That'd be Alana. Alana! Alana okay, so I've got these, I've got these kind of on with frayed edges ripped out. Let me get this name down. That was, you said that was Alana? Yeah, Alana Hendricks. And I see 26 eyeballs on, on, on the screen. So we are definitely going to have a giveaway tonight. You were on the tennis team. She said Too much. The, the Q-tip idea. Okay. Yep. That's, that's kind of a, it's kind of a, it's optional. You could just cut it. Okay. So for these. I'm going to get a pressing mat because you need an iron. So my Mod Podge is dry, mostly, close enough. And I'm going to put these down and let's do one at a time. And I'm going to put this kind of catty corner. And I'm just going to kind of smooth it out. Now it's not sticking because my Mod Podge is dry. But next I'm going to take an iron, just a regular household iron. I'm actually going to use my mini iron and a piece of parchment paper. And I'm going to put that parchment paper down. That's going to protect my iron from the dyes in, in the tissue, in the, oh, in the napkin. And just in case any Mod Podge squeaks out, it's protecting my iron from that. So I've got this iron on medium high. It's not, it's not scorching hot. And what it's doing is it is kind of melting down that dried Mod Podge, reactivating it so that it sticks. It's sticky again. And it is sticking to that napkin because I'm pressing that napkin into it. So I'm making sure I get all those edges. Just checking, did you reset your chicken? I did not. I did not. Right, I'm paying attention. Okay. Do, 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 do. I need a raise. Okay. okay, so I'm done with that, but keep in mind, this is metal, so this is hot. So be careful. 
So we're gonna we're gonna let that cool off. We're gonna do this one. Same thing, dried Mod Podge on the top. And let's get this centered here. Oops. Okay, and make sure there's no wrinkles. Put down my put down my parchment paper, not wax paper, parchment paper, and just medium hot iron, no steam, minimal pressure and making sure I get the edges because I want those edges to seal. Okay, let me see. Looks like I've got the edges and again, it's hot because I'm doing this on metal. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, now let's do this one. This one's gonna be a little bit different because again, I only had I only had two of these napkins. So this is going to be just a little bit different. I'm going to place that wherever I want it. And pick off a couple of those little stragglers. And I think I want my butterfly right about there. No, I think I'm going to put the butterfly over here. Okay, um, so not all of this is covered with napkin. So I'm going to reactivate that Mod Podge, and it's going to stick a little bit to the parchment paper, but it'll peel right off because it won't stick to parchment paper. Okay, so I'm going to push this down, make sure it's where I want it, iron, and I'm going to go over that napkin, getting the edges of that tulip. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna let that, now remember the, the Mod Podge reactivated, so it's sticking a little bit to the parchment, but not not really bad. I'm going to have to back up for this. Okay. We only have a few people chatting tonight. Okay. Well, we've got enough people on. Where's... Alana, Sonia, Cheryl, Cheryl. Cheryl, Cheryl, Fran. Fran. I guess Fran is going to be it. I need people commenting so I can put some other names in here. Okay. So, in case you, you're just popping on and you don't know what we're doing, we are going to be having a giveaway drawing at the end for some happy mail and in order to get entered in that drawing when my timer goes off if you are the last person that has commented you get your name on a ticket that goes into the drawing sounds good sounds good okay so this is a little bit cooler to the touch and you can see i've got that napkin is completely adhered all the way around the easiest way to get rid of the excess is to take a sanding sponge and just go down with it right along that edge and that kind of cuts off cuts off your napkin and you're keeping a nice clean edge it might be a little tricky around curves, but just take your time. Now, if you don't have a sanding sponge, you can do it with, you can do it with uh, sandpaper. You can do it with an emery board. Um, I've even done it where you burn it off, but I would not recommend you try that unless you have seen it done. But it does work. I'm just getting into those crevices. Ta-da! And here's my cute little tin tulip. And let's get this one. And then we're going to dress these up a little bit with some cute little phrases. 
Susan says brain sounds risky. <laughs> I, believe me, I was a little bit scared, and Bill even made sure we had a fire extinguisher nearby. I did that more of a joke, but yeah. But I did. yeah, it it or it works, but you wanna you wanna be sure you're confident in what you're doing before you give it a try. Your dogs are over here crunching. I'm doing it while you're doing the sanding part, so they're so, not. So I don't. Too much so they're not. It, they're not annoying me. Okay. So here's my other little you're tulip. Tacos. And this one has less. It's got sanding dust on it. Elaine says, "Love the colors." Thanks, Brenda Elaine. Says, "Love the tulip." Somebody asked earlier, "Is the tulip metal?" That's yes. A little bit of a surprise. Yes, it's one of the tin tulips. Comes with uh, with a jute hanger that I get from the Dollar Tree in their little craft department. They have a whole bunch of little metal surfaces, parts, and whatnot. And around Easter time, they have they have tulips. So I grabbed a few of them. Okay, so we are going to we're going to use some of my transfers on these. That's a ringy dingy, and that's Elaine. Elaine, Elaine Brown. Brown. Okay. Elaine is entered into the drawing. Let me reset the timer. Okay, so I'm going to be using a couple of these transfers. These are uh, reusable adhesive silkscreen transfers, kind of like stencils, but we call them transfers. This set is called Spring in Your Step. So there's six different little designs, and we are going to actually chalk that on there. And I also, I love this one. It's called Happy Easter Swirls. So we're going to use those on these. Now, this is just paper. There's nothing coating this. And if I put down something sticky, it's going to peel this up. We don't want that to happen. So I've got some surface wax I'm going to put on these surfaces. So this is just clear paste wax. I sell this in my shop. In fact, any of these, any of these supplies that you see me using um, are available in my shop. If you want to take a look, check, type the word supplies in the comments and my bot will send you a link and you can check out that cart link for tonight's for today's supplies and you can take a look uh, these two transfers are actually on sale uh, all of our easter and religious transfers while they last throughout this month are 50 percent off so the, the transfers that i'm using tonight are available at 50 percent off so that is awesome Anyway, I'm just taking a little bit of this wax because I want something to protect the paper from the sticky transfer. We are also having, if, if you're interested in transfers that are not Easter or religious, we are also having a uh, special going on called Transfer Palooza during the month of March. And any transfer, all, all transfers are buy three, get one free. So that's like 25% off. So, and you can stack those deals. So if you buy four Easter or religious transfers, you're only gonna be paying at the 50% off, you're only gonna be paying for three of them and you'll get that fourth one for free. Okay. got that waxed let's see let me get a drink kind of it does kind of scorch the napkins at the very end but i haven't seen it be i haven't seen it be super super noticeable to where it really looked awful let's see. but i don't know okay that would be Brenda. Brenda. Pesha. 
Pesha? Pesha? Okay, you are entered. Hey, yeah. Brenda, what's the name of your pup? That looks a lot like Liberty at first glance. Okay, so let's take a look at these. Let's do, let's do, let's do these, these ones first. Okay, so I'm going to pull this off. Now, whenever you open up our transfers, if they have this black sticker on it, that means, and you can read it, of course, but in a nutshell, that means that down here, there's this uh, line of information. It's generally just printed on, on there, but this manufacturer actually made that into a screen. So if you get, if you get paste over that, it's going to, it's going to come through on your surface. So you just want to keep that in mind. Okay, so let's see. I know I'm, gonna, I'm just cutting these apart so they're easier to work with. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys vote which ones you which one you want to use because I picked one, and you have to pick the other. So I'll show them to you in just a All moment. Right, show them again. I'll put them up. So one of them is going to say Happy Easter, and then here are the other choices. This is this is the one. This is the one I'm going to use. It says put a little spring in your step. So I'm definitely going to use that, and I need one more to be picked out. So I've got OK Bloomer, not Boomer, but Bloomer. I've got Oopsie Daisy. I've got hip hop, you don't stop. You, I've got chick magnet, get it, chicks. That was Duke. And I've got I love my little sprouts, with some little plants, or you could be referring to children. So, you guys tell me which one, of, which other one of these we want to use. So, sprouts, chick magnet. Hip Hop, Oopsie Daisy, or OK Bloomer. So tell me which one you want me to use. In the meantime, I'm gonna get started on put a little spring in your step. Now this, these are brand new, so these are ultra sticky. So I'm going to not only depend on the wax, I'm gonna put a little bit of fuzz on this transfer. So I've just got a towel here. And I'm just picking up some lint from this towel. If you don't have a towel, you can use a t-shirt. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to back way up on this one. Okay. We've got Brenda commented, okay. Alana commented, Sonia commented, Cheryl commented, Fran commented, Sonia, Cheryl. We're, we're going back because we don't like to put people in twice. So, Did we, we got yes, we got around. Elaine. Um... Susan Davis, did, did we get, get her in there? Let me check. I do not. Okay, Susan Davis. We backed up to Susan. Okay, and I think she we said, have. She said she's heading to. Um, she's heading up to uh, University of Idaho. Oh, really? This in week. Where? Which? Which one? Who's up here? Moscow. Moscow. Okay, so I'm getting some fuzz on this so it's a little less sticky. And I'm going to lay this down. Fran says Oops. the bunny. Lana says sprouts or daisy. Hold on, I've got hair. My I'm, hair. I'm, I'm just reading out loud. Okay. You're going to have to tell me. You're going to have to. Well, there's only two of them so far. Uh, I thought Cheryl voted on one. Did Cheryl vote on one? Oh, I love my little sprouts. So I've got okay. two sprouts. Okay, so I'm push. I'm pushing this down, making sure there's no air bubbles, and you I'm going to one. chalk it. I'm gonna use. I love this color. I could just use black because I wanted something high contrast because these these colors are kind of bright. But and so in the cart link, I put black because I can't put in this color because not everybody can get it. This is our color of the month. 
It's called Academia. Is that not gorgeous? That's the color that I used on this background for this clock. Anyway, I'm gonna chalk, I'm gonna chalk this in Academia. Um, you can get Academia. The, the only way you can get it, and I'm assuming it's still available, haven't checked in a while, is to spend $75 and that unlocks your ability to purchase Academia paste color. So if you love this color, you're going to want to get in that order. And it's a great time what with Transfer Palooza and 50% off Easter and Religious. It's a great time to get a good value for your money. So I'm just taking this chalk paste, which is chalk in paste form, and with my squeegee, and I'm gonna gently pull this up because again, I'm still a little worried about that paper. Yay, it didn't pull. So between the wax, between the wax and the fuzzing, I had no problems with that. So here is, here is my little tulip. Put a little spring in your step. Okay, did we get one? Did we get a consensus? Did you get a consensus on the next one? No, I didn't get consensus. We got two sprouts, a daisy, a bunny, and a blue Okay, so we got two sprouts. Okay, we'll do sprouts. Okay, I'm just going to dry that up just a little bit. And my timer went off. So who is our last oh, entry? Elizabeth. Oh, we have Elizabeth. Yeah, we already have Elizabeth. Got Elizabeth, Susan, Fran. I'm going to go all the way back, huh? <laughs> okay, what did we say? I love my little sprouts. There we go. Okay, so there's Susan. this one. Okay, tell you what. Tell you what. No, that's Cheryl. Somebody else give me a, give me a comment so I can put your name in. Espe somebody who hasn't commented. Somebody whose name is not in there. So if your name's in there, don't comment for, for a minute or two. Okay, and we again. Like all comments. But. Yes, but hold on a minute. Let's get somebody new entered. Leon, oh, Leona. Okay, Leona commented, but I don't think she commented. I don't think she got entered. Right her in. Leona. Okay. Okay, so waxed, fuzzed. Put this down centered as best as I can. No, I don't oh, think I have time. time. Yeah, we're almost out of time. Okay, again, pushing down, make it feeling, make sure I don't have any fuzz underneath and putting chalk paste on my squeegee and just dragging it across. If you can put butter on bread, you can do this. If you have never tried this and are interested in giving it a try, I have some sample kits available. So if you type in sample, you type in sample, you should be able to get the link to the sample kits. I think it's under uh, product info. Okay, again, I'm going to slowly peel it up. looks good I didn't grab any paper and here's I love my little sprouts and then the last one we're going to do is this one with the partial partial napkin on it okay but we're gonna do this the same way I've waxed this I've used this a time or two so it's not super super sticky but I'm still going to Fuzz it. And I'm going to kind of offset it just a little bit. Thank you, Renee. Okay. 
again, if you, if you type in sample, I think if you follow the links to product info, I believe in that next, that next thing will come up the, the link for the sample kits. Okay. Same thing, same color. This is Academia. It's our March color of the month. Okay, and this one I'm going to be careful I don't chalk that registration line. Thank you, Tara. Scrape off the excess, put it back in my jar. I'm going to put the lid on my jar. I'm going to peel this up. And that says Happy Easter. Looky, looky, looky. Happy Easter. Isn't that awesome? Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'm going to dry these up. We're going to put them on our board. Okay, so here's, let me get my board. Again, this is just, um, this is just one of these from the Dollar Tree painted over. And I just painted it, you could paint it over with acrylic paint, you could create, uh, paint it over with chalk paint. I just used chalk paint and we're going to kind of stagger them and these are a little bit bigger so the little points of the tulips will pop up so I'm just going to slap on some glue and oh that's not centered at all close enough close enough Tell me when. Not yet. Not yet? Okay. Okay. I got to do my part. Cheryl says she enjoyed the Sunday service. I'm assuming oh. that she... Um, did you did watch, you watch Bill's Sunday not music? Mine. Well, well no, the, the music, you did the music. Good. We They go live... Every week. Every Sunday. <laughs> this past week it was Ken... That's not our, yeah, that's not our normal pastor, but he's good. Our I'll normal pastor was there, but he, he asked for a week off because he's been at a, okay, so oh, here we go. He was at a conference. So here is our three little tulips. And what I'll do is I will attach probably some jute or some cord to the edges. Let me back up and hang it that way, or I can just, I can just lean it if I want. So that's, that's my project. Let me show you something else on my practice one. If you didn't want to do all three of these, I did this one, just a single one on a round. And I just, I just put a little green checkered bow, maybe kind of look like a stem. Anyway, lots of things you could do. Hopefully you got a, a fun idea that you could use. And let's do our drawing. And let's do two winners. Hey, Cheryl, that's my line. Okay, so hopefully you're still here. Susan Davis. Woohoo! Hey, I know she's still Susan here. Davis I see it. I see a comment. Really cute, okay. So she still be Susan here. Davis. And our second winner is Sonia Like. Sonia Like. Sonia Likey. Sonia Like and Susan Davis. So I will be reaching out to Sonia and Susan um, in probably within the hour. I'll send um, some uh, message to your messenger. I want to get a little bit of information before I decide what the perfect happy mail is for you. So be looking for that. You don't don't feel like you have to answer it 
answer the message tonight because I know it's late for some of you. But just know that it's coming, and as soon as you answer it, I'll get your happy mail in the mail. And I think we are out of time, so let me let me pose with this one more time. So thanks for watching, and I hope you'll follow us on Facebook. And we also have a YouTube channel, same name, Raincrest Farms Makery. And we will see you later. Have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.